Overactive adrenal gland comes from too much stimulation or stressful stimulation to the body. This can come from numerous modalities, just driving on the freeway, dealing with the stresses of life, dealing with the stresses of a city, dealing with stressful jobs, dealing with stressful or emotional conditions at home or at work. Any kind of an illness is very stressful. Any kind of an injury, a fracture, a surgery, any of these things are very stressful to the body and they put huge demand on already taxed adrenal glands. When the adrenal glands are under a constant barrage of stressful conditions, the adrenal glands tend to enlarge or what we call hypertrophy. And then we get adrenal hyperplasia where the adrenal glands chronically become enlarged due to the requirements or the demands put on it by the stressful life. The body also tends to have a response to these stressful hormone levels which are higher than they normal physiologically should be as they remain high all throughout the day, not just fluctuating according to the demands of a stressful encounter. Also, a poor diet, eating too much sugar, drinking too much alcohol, being exposed to toxic substances, and general poor nutrition, not chewing food well, not eating good quality protein, all of these things can produce stress to the body and stress onto the adrenal glands. As the adrenal glands enlarge and they start pumping out high levels of cortisol all day long, the body starts to go through some physiologic changes that are quite dramatic. High cortisol works as an anti-insulin hormone. Insulin is a hormone that helps sugar get into cells to be burned off as fuel. When cortisol is high and insulin becomes resistant, then the sugar that should be going into cells ends up getting deposited into fat stores and people gain weight. This is the classic syndrome that we know called insulin resistance. For most of the cases that we see, this is actually due to overstimulated or hypertrophied adrenal glands and overstressed adrenal glands with high cortisol levels.